In this video, we're going to show you how to make the table that the assembled TV and stand will sit upon. To start this, go to the top left hand corner and click on New. Then make sure you've got Metric selected and then double click on Standard MM from the Part Drawn list. Once your part is open, you're ready to work. What we're going to do first of all is start a new sketch and what we do is I click on the icon here. You'll see these three work planes appear. Now we want to select this one, the XZ plane, and when it goes white, click on it. Now the first thing we want to do and I want to draw your attention to is this view box in the top right hand corner here. At the moment, we can see that our top is going upright. We want to read that as we would left to right. To do that, move the mouse over it and click on this left-hand side arrow here. You see that spun the view around, so now the top view is exactly what we'd look at. Now, this is going to make things much easier at later stages, so get into the habit of making sure that you do that uh, whenever you're doing a new sketch on a view. Right, the first shape we need to uh, draw here is a rectangle. So we're going to use the rectangle tool from the top toolbar. We always make sure we start our sketch from this yellow dot in the centre. So we click once, move the mouse out and click again. At this stage it doesn't matter how big this rectangle is because at this stage next we're going to dimension it to the correct size. So to dimension it, we move up to the dimension tool and click on it. I want to make the length of this rectangle 1,800 uh, millimetres long. And you can see at this stage that that rectangle has gone off the screen because it's got larger. Now there are two ways to rectify that. We can either roll the middle mouse button out until we can see it all. Or we can double click the middle mouse button and it will bring your view to fit. The middle mouse button is the rubber wheel in the centre of your mouse. And I now want to make the height of this rectangle 400. So I'll do that Yeah. We've now finished this sketch, so we move up to the top right corner of the screen to the Finish Sketch button and click on it. And again, you can see this is zoomed out, so if I double click the middle mouse button, I can see the whole sketch, which will make the next bit a bit easier. The next stage for this is to extrude this rectangle upward. So I move the mouse to the top left hand corner to this extrude button, select it, and then you can see because there's only been one sketch so far, it will automatically select this, uh, Inventor will automatically select this sketch. And then we have to put a distance that we want to extrude this shape up to. So an extrusion is where you take a 2D shape and you stretch it upward in a straight line. And we want to stretch this upward by 80 millimetres. So in here we'll enter on 80 and then click in OK. Now we want to create a sketch on this top face here. So if I select this top face, you can see how the outline of it has turned white. And then select the sketch button. And again, you can see how this uh, sketch in the top has turned around. So I go back to the top right and select this arrow to the left to turn it around. Again, at this stage, I want to create a rectangle. So I'm going to select rectangle. And I want to have the rectangle locked onto the top line, not the top corner, but onto the top line here. And sketch a rectangle at any size or here, something like what I'm showing you on the screen. Again, now we're going to dimension it to the correct sizes, so I click on the dimension button at the top. The first size I'm going to set is from the left-hand side of the large rectangle to the left-hand side of the smaller rectangle. So I select both lines until they're white, and then move the mouse upward so I can see the size up here. I'm going to set this size as 50 millimeters. Then, I'm going to select this length here for the rectangle. I'm going to set this to 1,700 
millimeters. The next thing I'm going to do is select the height of this smaller rectangle. I'm going to set that to 350 millimeters. That's the final stage of uh, sketching this rectangle. So I can click on the green arrow for finished sketch in the top right hand corner. And then I'm going to extrude this smaller sketch upward. So I need to click on the extrude button. And then I need to select this smaller sketch. Now you can see, and it's very faint, but you can see that when you move the mouse over that sketch, it turns a, a slightly lighter shade of grey. Okay, so you want to, in here, select that, and you can see it's previewing up. I want to change the distance here to eight, uh, 50, and then click OK. The next stage of creating this table is to create another sketch on this surface here. So I'm going to select the surface and then I'm going to click on Start 2D Sketch. Again, it's turned around this way, so I'm going to go back to the top right corner and click on the left arrow to spin it around. I'm looking to create now a rectangle. So I'm going to click on the rectangle button and I want to make this rectangle the exact same size as the existing large rectangle. So I'm going to start from the bottom left corner and then I'm going to move it to the very top right -hand corner. And what you'll find is that the cursor will snap to that corner. And what I mean by snap is it's almost like there's a magnet uh, with, between the cursor and the top, uh, top corner and it will attract it. Okay. So I'm going to click there. That's me created the sketch. I know it's the same size as the previous one because the cursor snapped to the two corners. So I've finished this sketch, so I'm going to click on Finish Sketch. At this stage, I need to extrude this large rectangle, so I'm going to click on the Extrude button. And th that large rectangle, this one was already selected. If it doesn't automatically select yours, then just come down and select it uh, as you did previously. In the distance box here, I'm going to enter 200 millimeters and then click OK. The next stage for this is uh, we're going to create a, a slot in the f on this face here um, for maybe a, a, a DVD player or a PS4 or a, a Skybox or something along those sort of lines to fit in it. So I'm going to have, so I can see this front face here. Uh, you can see again the white outline around it. So I'm going to select that and then click on Start 2D Sketch. You can see how this has moved off the side of the screen, mainly because it always centers on the yellow dot here. To bring this out, I can either double click the middle mouse button or click and hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse over. Now this is called panning the view. It's a useful technique that we'll use quite often during the Inventor. At this stage, I'm going to zoom in a touch by rolling the mouse, uh, middle mouse button toward me. I'm quite happy. I need to be able to see the outskirts of that. So at this stage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sketch a rectangle in this space here. So I need to click on the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle any size somewhere around about there. Again, at this stage, what we'll now do is add dimensions to this. So I'll move to the dimension button at the top of the screen. And I'm going to start with dimensioning from the very left-hand side of the unit to the left-hand side of this new rectangle. And I'm going to set this size to 625. And then press Enter. Next, I'm going to set the length of the rectangle I've just sketched to 550 and press enter. Then I'm going to uh, select the top of the large rectangle and then the top of the smaller rectangle, move the mouse along and I'm going to set this size to 45 and press enter. Finally, I'm going to select the height of the rectangle. I'm going to set that size to 100 and then press enter. Once you've set sizes to these, as shown here, then move the mouse to the top right hand corner and click on finish sketch. 
what we now need to do is uh, extrude this inward to remove material. The removing material in 3D CAD modeling is called subtraction. So we're going to subtract this rectangle from the larger rectangle uh, in this stage here. Now, to do that, we move to the uh, top left corner and click on extrude. Select this small rectangle and at the moment you can see how it's coming outward from the, 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 the TV stand. To make it go in the way, I need to change the direction of it. And these orange buttons here are the direction buttons. At the moment, it's direction one. So to make it go in the way, I need to click on direction two. And what you can see is that Inventor will automatically subtract material from the original solid. I need to change the distance for this from 200 to 250. And when I've done that, I'm going to select OK. Next, we're going to create a indent in the top face of this table for the TV unit to sit into. So I'm going to select this top face and then click on the Start Sketch icon. And again, at this stage, I'm going to spin this view around so I can see it properly by moving up to the top right and clicking on the left arrow. I'm going to say draw a rectangle here. So as normal, I'm going to select rectangle from the top. And the rectangle will be drawn any size on the top. It's worth knowing at this stage, do not uh, lock it to one of the lines of value drawn. So you can see that in the previous sketch we drew this rectangle. What you don't want to do at this stage is finish drawing this rectangle on one of those lines because it will lock to that and you'll not have the same flexibility at the, at the next stage when we come to dimension it. So I've finished uh, sketching that rectangle and now I'm going to dimension it. So I'm going to move up to the dimension tool, select it. I'm going to begin by selecting the left-hand side of the smaller rectangle and then the left-hand side of the larger rectangle. I'm going to set that size to 715 and then press Enter. I'm then going to select the length of the small rectangle and set that size to 350 and then press Enter. Next, I'm going to select the bottom edge of the small rectangle and the bottom edge of the large rectangle. I'm going to set that size to 100 and press Enter. And finally, I'm going to select the height of this small rectangle and I'm going to set that size to 200 and press Enter. You can check that your sizes here are the same as what's shown when they are. You finished the sketch, so we're going to move up to the Finish Sketch button and select it. What we now need to do is extrude this smaller rectangle uh, down into the table to subtract material from it. So I'm going to click on Extrude in the top left corner, select that small rectangle. I'm going to change the direction as before. I'm going to change the distance this time to 3 and then select OK. I've now finished modeling this table. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add material to it. You can see these buttons at the top, all these different menus are here with lots of different options for things. Okay, uh, You're looking at the moment for the one that says Tools. And I'm going to go to the material list and I'm going to select uh, wood. I'm going, to want, I'm going to want to make my table from wood. Now, you can make your table from any material you like, but I'm choosing to make it from wood. So I'm going to uh, scroll down until I find a wood that I quite like to use. And what you'll find is that you'll see that on the model here, if I pan this over, it's easier to see it, you'll find that there are previews of what it looks like. And it's your free choice here. You can pick any um, material you like. like. I said, I'm going to pick wood, so I'm going to pick this cherry. Uh, to apply it, this little up arrow, select it, 
and you'll find that that material is now applied to your table. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to um, add some colour to, to this table. To do this, I'm going to rotate it. Now, to rotate it, we've gone through in a previous session, but to remind you of that, to rotate in Inventor, you hold down the Shift key, click and hold the middle mouse button, and then move the mouse. And you'll be able to rotate and see all the way around the table. And I'm going to add a, a different colour to this surface here, this surface, and this surface. I'm going to do that just to give it a little bit of aesthetics. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Appearance button. And I'm going to scroll down here until I find the colour that I'm going to look for. I'm going to have something that's going to stand out quite bright um, and have quite a contrast between the wood for those areas. So I'm going to scroll down and you can see there's lots and lots of different options with this. And again, you can really you can pick anything you like from this list. Um, I think I'm going to go with a, a purple colour. So I'm going to select this colour here. And then to apply it, you would select the face. I'm going, to hold, I'm, going to, I'm going to select all faces. So I'm going to select this face. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to select this face. I'm going to rotate this. Again, I'm going to hold down the shift key again and select this face. And then I'm going to select the purple. You can see again, if I move the mouse over the purple, it's previewed it. And like before, if I click on the up arrow, it will apply that appearance to, or that material, to my model. I'm also going to apply the same colour to the indent here. So to do that, I'm going to select this face, hold down the shift key, and I'm going to select each of the other faces too. And I'm rotating, I'm keeping the shift key held down throughout this um, process to make things a bit easier. So I've selected those one, two, three, four, five faces of the internal um, subtraction there. And I'm going to go back with the purple again uh, and click on the up arrow. Let's say the inventor will come up with this. That's fine. It's not an issue. I'm going to click OK. Uh, and it's there. you can see how that's applied that purple colour to these areas here. I'm finished with this now, so I'm going to just close off this appearance tool. And you can see this is my finished table with the appearance is on this as such. Okay, you now have to save your work. To do this, move the mouse to the top left corner to this file button. Select Save As. You will need to click on this arrow here to find your space in the school network. You're looking for uh, your network space and then your technical folder. And then save this as TV Desk. If you don't know how to do that, ask your teacher for help. 